Hey guys, this is Nathan and welcome to the Gaming 4. Today in this unturned map editor tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to decorate a grocer. So last time I did how to decorate a house, and it obviously took a lot more items. So this is going to be a pretty short video. Um, this is pretty much what I'm going to be using to decorate the grocer. Um, I've got a cooler number one, shelf number two, shelf number three, checkout, register, table wood number two, and chair wood number one. Now, of course, uh, I guess you can use chair wood number two. That would work as well. And you could probably use different variants of the tables. But um, this will pretty much just give you an idea of the best way to create a grocer. Obviously not the only way. So let's start by placing the checkout. Um, it's always sort of confusing to me where you should place them because it's at like a weird rotated angle and stuff. And... Uh, it's just sort of awkward sometimes placing these. So pretty much what I think I'm going to do for this is I'm going to place it at a 90 degree angle to the doorway. And I will just uh, snug it up to the door. Maybe make sure it doesn't overlap that much. And let us put the register on top of that. So this is actually a pretty decent uh, way to do this. You know, it works pretty well. Um, it pretty much just does its job. Now you can put multiples of these. Like if you really wanted to, you could uh, somehow put like another one over here. Um, obviously at this angle it probably wouldn't work the best just because there isn't enough room back there. But that's probably, having it this way is probably one of the best um, configurations for the checkout and the register. Of course it does limit you to only one checkout and one register, but usually that's not a problem. Um, let us get into placing some of these shelves here. So a typical grocer is pretty much comprised of mainly shelf number two and coolers. And so usually the coolers are along the back. Uh, they're snugged up against the wall. And there's usually maybe five or six of them. Let's try to place these pretty well. Nicely spaced the spacing right and so usually these are just placed along the back wall so once we've placed these along the back wall it really doesn't matter that we have so many uh, usually you would put some sort of drinks inside these um, and I'm gonna try to center this based off of how much room there is right there I think we could use a little more and that should be good um, so yeah, right now I've got six of these and pretty much you can just place them against the back wall. You could also put them on this wall as well or the other one. Uh, usually you're not going to find them in the middle though. So I would advise against that just because usually we're going to be putting these shelves number two in the middle. So let's uh, start arranging some of these shelves. Uh, usually you see them sort of uh, in this orientation, not uh, the other way. And they pretty much just line up let's copy paste them lengthen it out a bit um, I usually leave this gap just sort of because it uh, well I don't really care about it it's just sort of there and it works for me and so pretty much just copy paste these rows down um, obviously we'll have to even it up a little bit after we're done placing all these so let us try to center this on the building and actually a good way of doing this is just by going outside of the building and if you kind of see these windows here there's four of them so right in between the windows like right here should be the very center of the building so what we can do is sort of move till this blue arrow is right in between those windows and that should give us approximately the center now it is kind of tricky because based on where you look it does seem like it's sort of skewed so pretty much the best thing to do is to get yourself directly in front of this area and line the arrow up almost perfectly. And so pretty much this is going to be good enough. Not, not many people are going to notice, even if it is off. I think it might be really close. So pretty much um, if you actually guys don't like those little gaps, feel free to just uh, move those over just a tiny bit. Nobody's really going to notice. So pretty much this is a typical layout of a uh, grocer. You've got a good amount of room right here to open up these and access those uh, coolers and you've got still some room over here where you can choose which aisle you want to go down. Now this is definitely not the only setup you can do with this. Uh, that's why I did include 
this other shelf here, and the table and chairs. So let's say this is more of a small town grocer, and a lot of guys come here to hang out in the morning and maybe have coffee or something. Let's just uh, put this table here, and uh, let's put some chairs around it. And this is definitely going to be another way you can sort of make your grocer unique. So, as I've done before, you copy paste the chair, press it with, uh, place it down in the new location with E, and then rotate it to where you want. And so there we are. So now instead of having a normal typical grocer, ours is slightly different, and you know it's got a little more personality to it, I guess you could say. Now, of course, I did sacrifice uh, one of these shelves here, but you know there's already plenty to place the food items on. And of course, uh, instead of using that one type of chair, we could be using uh, chair number two as well. So um, let's try to incorporate uh, these shelves in now. So let's say instead of having these here, let's put some of the shelves down. And guys, you can arrange this however you want, truthfully. There's really not a best way to do this. Well, there might be a best way to do this, but it really is whatever your preference, whatever you want. So. I mean, you could try to incorporate other shelves as well. There's that other type of shelf that's more like a hardware style type shelf. Um, the only reason I didn't use that in here is because it is sort of more styled towards a hardware sort of feel. But uh, I mean, adding these other types of shelves along the wall definitely works. Um, if you wanted to scoot these over, or let's say, let's move just this one over and uh, just to fill up the space a little more because there was quite a large amount of space there that works as well but pretty much any of these sort of configurations will work inside a grocer you pretty much just have to decide what do you want to have inside it like do you want to reserve an area for a table um, what kind of shelves do you want how many do you want and you just gotta arrange it the best do you think it needs to be so pretty much it's up to you on how you design this, but uh, hopefully this video gave you an idea of what materials are good to start out with. Definitely these two types of shelves, shelf number uh, two and number three, and also this cooler. That's very typically found um, inside a grocer. Uh, another thing that came to mind is a vending machine. Vendor one and vendor number two. Uh, you could also put these inside the grocer as well. I've actually seen these inside grocers in real life, so it's not uncommon to you know, see these in here. And of course, you can just work on spacing yourself, space these out you know, exactly how you want them to be. So yeah, that's pretty much uh, all, you really need to, all you really need to know about uh, decorating a grocer. As I said before, this was going to be a pretty short video. Um, another thing you can do with these uh, checkout and register area is you could potentially put the checkout facing this way. This one just came to mind. Maybe you could align them up with in between the windows here. And this would actually allow you to get two or even three registers in here. So you could line them up with this window. Uh, obviously make sure they're snugged up to the wall here which they're not quite and yeah so you could definitely fit two in this pattern um, you could also fit three because you could put one right here in the middle three might be a little overboard but I, I think it definitely works I mean it's not it doesn't look bad at all um, it just allows people to get more of those coins from the registers. So pretty much it's, it's your preference. Whatever you want to do with this space, uh, go ahead and do it. Be creative. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it for this uh, video. Um, hopefully you guys learned as much as you wanted to or as much as you needed to. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please hit, a hit the like button below and subscribe if you want to see some more. I will see you all later.